Hey guys, how you doing? It's the Intuitive Investor from Stock Twits. Sorry I've been MIA. Um, I actually just moved locations. I moved my practice um, in the end of March into a new building. So I've literally been working seven days a week trying to get that thing up and running. So we're going to talk namaste. Let's just get down to it. I'm going to try and do my best to keep this video under four minutes. Doubtful. You know how I talk. Today I'm enjoying a nice uh, ray. Can you see it? El Rey del Mundo from Cuban. Pretty good cigar. Sounds we got some thunder rolling in. Anyways, today's pop. What is the significance of it? Is it a flash in the pan or is it something significant? I personally, not sure yet. I'm not sure if this is a flash in the pan, meaning this, this is just a one day glitch or um, this is evidence of something big to come. All I know is that, let's look at some of the facts. Sean was removed from Namaste, and that did nothing to improve the stock, right? I'd have thought that that would have been a huge relief and confidence booster, but it did nothing. And then Sefi and that other guy also got removed sometime after, and nothing came from that. Still didn't boost confidence, still didn't increase the stock. Then they acquired chocolate, that Edibles chocolate company, 49%, and it did nothing to boost the stock. Like nothing, nothing is saving Namaste. Everything continues to go downwards. And then lo and behold, uh, they get that cease trade order agreement approved in their favor where no insiders or nobody from management can trade their, sh their shares. And that didn't do anything to boost confidence in consumers and investors. Um, so per their agreement, they're supposed to update us every two weeks about, you know, material changes, any updates. And the last report was made on April 15th. Nothing new really was reported, just a reiteration of what they're supposed to do um, and what the agreement entails. Really nothing new. So I was looking at that, did nothing for the stock. So this morning, um, Globe Newswire releases um, a report that GTEC, another cannabis company who has a premium cannabis for sale on Canmar, is leading the pack. Um, there's a lot of demand for it, and they obviously reference Namaste since Canmar is a subsidiary of, te of Namaste Technologies. But was that enough to create? what we saw today, a 46% pop at the close. I think it went as high as maybe 50 something percent because it jumped up to 62, uh, to 62 cents at one point. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that was the deciding factor. I don't know if that was what was behind today's pop. Um, all I know is that I had the average down and I was able to get in at 38 cents. So I was extremely grateful about today's jump because obviously that helps me recoup some of my losses. And averaging down really is the best strategy for those that are just in it for the long haul, which at this point, as I said, I've reached the point of no return with this stock. Um, even though my, um, my cost basis is just over a dollar. So, so I don't know. I personally think that Namaste is headed in the right direction. They've removed some people. They've shaken things up. Um, somehow they're still acquiring companies. Um, chocolate, as of recently, I think a company that was looking to fold probably would not be acquiring. They'd actually be hoarding money. Um, I think, like you, I think we're all in the dark. We're all just trying to guess. We're trying to speculate. I think what would, for me, be the deciding factor if this was a flash in the pan, today's jump that is, or if this was the beginning of something big, is if we continue to see movements upward, I would have to see at least, um, on average, starting today, Wednesday, till next Wednesday, seven days of trading, I'm sorry, five days of trading, I would need to see probably four out of five bullish days. And they don't have to be you know, these significant jumps. I would like to see at least maybe 2%, 5% jumps. Anything like that to me, I think, would be 
evidence of something sustained. Um, if the stock sells out tomorrow, then obviously this was just a flash in the pan. And now we're just still on the waiting game. The good news is that they're slated to report. Give us an update April 30th. That's next Tuesday, if I am correct. Um, about any updates, any news, how they're doing about um, the financial audit. And I think that the agreement is that they will release their full financial audited, I'm sorry, I can't even speak right, their full audited financials by the end of May. Um, so worst case scenario is that we're really gonna get all the meat and the potatoes, everything we've wanted to see, the, the non-redacted version of the financials. There you go, the non-redacted uh, version of the financials is what we're gonna get. And I think that that's going to be Judgment Day. Um, there e there's either going to be a lot of winners or there's going to be a lot of losers. But we'll soon find out. I don't know. What do you guys think about today's jump? Was it something significant or is it nothing really to write home about? So if you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe to my videos. Um, I think now that the dust is settling with my work, I think I'll be able to do uh, more updates. Uh, just to throw it out there, I just added Cresco Labs. Um, I added them two days ago. Um, I think that they're they're going to make some really good moves. I was really surprised about um, Acreage Holdings being potentially acquired. Um, that one really was a stunner. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. So again... Um, I'm on stock, stock Twitch too, so if you aren't already following me, I'm known as the Intuitive Investor. Talk to you soon.